Hey, good evening. This is Spirit Journey. Yes, I'm just reclining in bed right now. I'm going to be going to bed soon, but I really want to get this video out. Um, yeah, this is... But how to begin? Again, it's all about my spiritual journey, inside and out, and just trying to be real. Maybe I'm a little raw looking right now, <laughs> but you know, I I really want to be true to myself. And I know on YouTube, it's great to look beautiful and your hair done nicely and makeup. I have no makeup on, but um, I, I could have all different looks, you know? And, uh, you know, I apologize if I look a little bit too raw, but I... Um, I feel good about myself right now, and I want to share you that part of my journey. I was watching different types of videos today, and one of them was about, oh, what's that now? Um, well, in essence, it's about illusion and how we may think people's lives are all about but it's not what you think. And, and it's not just one group of people. It could happen to anyone. And it's happening to all types of people, both black and white and everything in between. I want to say that up front. Okay? Now, the first video I saw was about... Oh, oh brother, what is that now? Um, I heard on the news about... This sex trafficking thing, this person that lived in Albany, Albany, New York, and an actress. I, I'm not familiar with the actress. Again, I don't watch television, but it's an actress. And she was arrested, I think they said. And, and this other guy, oh, yeah, yeah, she was arrested, I think, in federal court as being part of a sex trafficking thing and that they tricked the women. These were actually rich white women that they, that they got primarily and uh, tricked them initially. They, they had a woman introduce them to this organization and it's about confidence building. And in a nutshell, it was really to be somebody's sex slave and who knows what it would have turned into as it escalated. And they were branded on their belly with the guy's uh, initials. <laughs> and these were so-called intelligent women, act actresses, you know, some of them well-known, and they fell for this organization. And so it, it can happen to anyone, so people who are connected, but they could get pulled into an organization because it's supposed to be selective, blah, blah, blah. And then another video I saw about the this Mormon group. Um, it's, it's like an offshoot of, the, of Mormonism, but they're Mormon still. And this guy, um, the leader, he had like 30 wives, and he molested or raped his daughter for years and in, in a nutshell with everything he was eventually arrested and the, the the daughter of that man he she wrote a book about her uh, account and she herself was a uh, became a bride at an early age at the age of 18 and she uh, her husband uh, had more than one wife. You know, it built up. She was the third wife, actually. And then the last video was of a a woman. She externally looked like a uh, white American woman, but her mother was a woman. She, the mother looked like a Caucasian woman, but she was a mixed race, mixed of white and black heritage. Her, what is that? It was her grandfather that uh, looked more, you know, had more color to him. And in a nutshell, the daughter of this woman 
um, found out, like, like the mother was had a lot of secrets and stuff like that, and the daughter wanted to investigate about, you know, the heritage of her uh, grandparents. Because the daughter says that the mother was hiding something for, you know, in her family, and discovered that uh, her mother was uh, birth certificate was uh, what was that colored, and her father was uh, classified as black, and so it the woman had an awareness now about who she was, and she learned for herself that. Race is a social construct, and that even though she she says, "Look, um, I she identifies herself as a white woman with mixed ancestry," and the reason for that is because she's raised and socialized in a white community, and I understood, I understood, yeah. So, where does this leave me? Like, those are so many angles. So many angles about, let's say, um, the glass is full, <laughs> or the, the you know, I mean, the the grass is greener <laughs> on the other side. And in life, I used to think everybody else's life was better, greener. And one of the illusions is the illusion about uh, white people, white people in America. And with these examples, like the cult leader. You know the Mormon church, that particular Mormon uh, offshoot, or the uh, cult group that was branding women and, and using them in, a, in a, like sex slaves. Now, I never was in anything extreme like that, but you know, actually, Cromwell, I I almost was. Well, I was. They were trying to recruit me in the Moonies group. And so my listening to these people and how we, the, what I see is people who are just human beings who could make a mistake, who could become a victim, and the pain of the events that precede and so my, you know, television is a box of illusions that we watch and we believe and we become what we see. And even the story of race, how someone could, let's say someone can have brown skin, but Caucasian features or the opposite. They can have a white skin and African features, and how people who could have the same color as me, but treated better, or even classified as white, and be treated differently and better than people of my social grouping. And all these things, in a nutshell, all these subjects, could make one go crazy. It makes you angry. It makes you like, hey, none of this makes sense. So why do we fall for it? These are illusions. And I'm learning that all these things are things that only really you could perceive. Only me is in this body. And you are in your body. But we're all experiencing what we are experiencing, and it feels real. But that's all it is, experiences. And one after one, we get new experiences or repeating experiences over and over again. And the only thing I could say is, this sucks. And why? We put in this situation and that <laughs> if there's such thing as reincarnation, I don't want to come back here. There's nothing to learn. It's all, I mean, they, they said that some people, what was that, hundreds and thousands of years reincarnating. 
No, this is torture. We're being tortured down here on this planet. None of us are immune to it. Whether you're white or black and everything in between, each group I see are being affected in different ways. And some of us may think, oh, it's better on that side of the track. But it really isn't. Each group has its own um, burden. So I guess what I want to say, you know, I, I mean, I feel like I'm experiencing so many things. I, I have done many videos today, audio tapes, video about four of them, and some of them I'm not sure whether I'll put up. I may, but I feel this one when I put up, and maybe even right away. And the message is, in all this crap, to love yourself, the person in the mirror, to love every aspect of yourself, and to not hide what you are. Just as the, the woman uh, who was hiding her race from her children and who was married to a white man, a white, a white prejudiced man, and so all the things she must have heard in life around her husband or the white neighborhood she lived in uh, about black people and her knowing her heritage, you know, I don't want to hide. I know what it's like to feel like you have to hide yourself. But I'm very thankful, even though the lessons I've learned were very painful to me, I'm very grateful that I could say, you know, I am who I am. And I've met many people who shared their lives to me, people who um, look like something else, and every day they have to feel, feel the burden of hearing what people really think about them, uh, and even though they're hiding their identity. Don't hide your identity anymore. I, I invite you all that you no longer have to hide your identity. That it's better to just let it hang out because eventually you, you can you can't you can't hide it. So I hope you take this to heart that to be real with yourself, that it's okay to hang loose, it's okay to not look perfect. And it's okay to be any race that you are. And you know, uh, there's, there's nothing greener on the other, other side. Make your personal garden, your garden of Eden. And share your blessings with others, okay? So this is Spirit Journey signing off. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.